Hello. Here at the uh, beach. See my friend here. And I suspect we'll be back. Just enjoying some fish. Ladies fish. Caught the seagull was enjoying the rest. Here uh, at sunset. So I may uh, shift the camera to let you enjoy that. I'll see if I can get it a little balanced. You know how well I do with that. But we could try. Let's see how we do. level-ish. I'm on slippery rocks here, but yeah, we yeah, have a little sunset. Hopefully you can hear me. I'm sure there's, you know, waves. I just want to do a little single look there for you. So there may be some waves and wind, even people talking to her But here we are, sunset. So it gets me thinking about tides. You know, kind of have, uh, what kind of have, uh, you know, terms for personalities, you know, so. Maybe you're uh, bubbly, maybe you're grumpy, you know, just to pick a few sort of uh, exaggerated, even relatively extreme personalities. And we also have moods, you know, could be very excited, could be very downcast, could be joyous, it could be dejected be excited, be contemplative. So it kind of feels like the waves are more like when they have a gulf fly across here at the moment, it might be nice. So there's going to be a few more moments. It's under the moon now. Darking, I think, just out of the camera. But just to me, like the waves are like the moods. They, they sort of rapidly change. Again, relatively rapidly change. Uh, the tides also change, but less rapidly than the waves. When we have our moods, I think, here, here you'll see this gold now, I think. Yeah. So we have our moods <coughs> analogous to the waves. And then we have our personality, which maybe is a little bit more analogous to the given breadths or depths of some body of water. But I don't think that we have an idea or a term for something between personality and mood, like the tide also changes but with less frequency than the waves, but with more frequency than you know channels are carved by the currents. So as I was walking over here to the beach, I was kind of thinking about, you know, is there a tide of personality? Do we have sort of, not just a personality, not just a mood, but do we have a mode 
within which there's shifts of mood. So one thought that I had was that in the uh, the December holiday period that we kind of experience here in the West, and what's kind of called the Christmas time, you know, you might find that there's sort of a tide, sort of a mood, uh, uh, sorry, sort of a mode of a bit more happy, a little bit more joyous, a little bit more forgiving. And that maybe just sort of colors the moods. Maybe it ameliorates the moods. Maybe it makes those moods just a little bit less sharp. So is there over some period of time longer than you might expect the mood to shift or metamorphose, metamorphosize? Is there some other period where, where a mode, maybe it's like vacation mode, where all of your moods are just shifted a little bit more. And maybe there's a mode of grief, you know, where within the grief period, you, you, you laugh at a joke and, and, and you get curious about something and you get disinterested in other things and excited about other things. But maybe there's an overall cast, an overall tone shift, that title shifts, because overall your moods are colored by this other experience. So my meditation is to watch my mood by watching my watch my mode by watching my mood and seeing if although my mood changes is it temporarily bounded is it temporarily colored by some mode by some particular shift of my tide which doesn't reach the level of personality but is greater than the level of mood so it isn't about my particular feelings but it's sort of the cast that these feelings have these days. Perhaps this weekend, perhaps this summer, perhaps this season, perhaps during this period of grief or honeymoon or something. I'm going to watch my mood shift. I think what I'll do is I'll give you a little look around too. So Perhaps you can see the moon and that colors along the horizon. See me spill my steamed milk almost, or sort of. Maybe you can see the, the color. Perhaps you can see the, uh, the moon is up there. It's a finger pointing in the moon. So this is a spot I like to come to see the sunset. In fact, since we're talking about it, we'll uh, walk out on the slippery rocks. They're quite slippery. You can see the yeah, very slippery. Turn into the water a little bit more. So the color in the sky is changing, and you know, everything feels warmer, right? As these colors change, everything feels this particular way. Everything is cast a particular way. And so maybe I can encourage you to pay attention to your 
moods to see if you can see your mode. Whether or not that's true, it seems to me there might be a nice analogy with the tides. A change at a different rate than the obvious change. It's very easy to look at the water and think only of the waves. But we come to know the tide through patience and attention. Maybe in the same way we can recognize our own tide. So thank you.